it's I think it's going to come down to which player can make the one last adjustment. Uh, I see this coming down to a last possession for one of these two players. Well, Nini will start with it first. He's in the blue and gold and quickly hands it off to Howard on the opening play here and picks up two. He had a lot of success with Jordan Howard in that first game. I believe he ran for over 140 yards uh, in a single digit number of carries as well. Looking to make sure he can do that in the finals here. Uh, little man's 3-3-5 with the big hitters. Maybe a little bit of a better matchup for the run game of Nini, however. Little man on defense. He's in the all white. And on second and eight, Nini will go to the air. Able to pick up the blitz, but Russell Wilson can't get out of the pocket. Yeah, and Russell just not quite as mobile as a Michael Vick um, or even maybe as a Steve Young, uh, the what a lot of people are using. Uh, but you see that same setup the little man had a lot of success with in his semifinal. He's spying that D tackle to not only take away the mobility of the quarterback, but to work those over the middle routes and to try to catch people throwing crossers to click on. But Khalil Mack just too strong. As the pocket collapse, here's third and 12. Quick throw all alone is Amari Cooper, and that'll move the chains out at the 46. Beautiful curl route there. Catches little man with nobody guarding the sticks, and that's just a simple pitch and catch. So get a fresh set of downs here near midfield. Opening drive, already a minute gone by. Tennessee offensive book for Nini. He's in the under center wide trips. He said that's his bread and butter formation. He can pass the ball. He can run the ball. He can do whatever he wants out of this formation. It's what he calls home. I think he's fine with four yards there on first down. That'll bring up a second and six. Right at midfield. Right on the shield. Here in the Coliseum. Russell Wilson finds Sharp. Can't hang on. What a hit. And little man rushes just two. Has a spy back there. Eight in coverage. And that's what happens when you spend so much cap on these hitters. There's no one in his secondary with under 88 hit power. That means if you catch the ball, if you're not holding the RB button, you are not going to feel good. So that'll bring him a third down. Right here in neutral territory. Wilson, boy, has time and has a man, Tyreek Hill, down in the red zone, just outside. They'll mark him at the 21. And it's going to be a long game for that man you see on your screen if he's going to continue to give that much time in the pocket to Russell Wilson. You've got to send more than just those two defensive ends. Sometimes you at least got to click that spy and send him in there. Maybe that'll be the difference is Cooper able to hang on to the 10 yard line. You pretty much can call it first and goal, but this was a huge pass. Definitely was. Just too much time, able to bring that receiver back. Just find the, that spot in the zone, get in between it. There were five defenders there, and not one of them made a play on him. So first and ten. Might as well call it first and goal. Now second and goal from the eight. Looked like he got ahead of himself on the turbo button there. Immediately on that turbo button when he received the handoff, which didn't give him a chance to pick the gap that he wanted. And he ends up getting to the left side instead of the right side. Already taken half of the first quarter away on this drive. And he'll stretch it out here with Howard. Spins it back inside. And he's going to have third and goal from the three. Good job moving east to west there. Cutting back inside once he's only got one man to beat. Apke couldn't make a tackle there. Third and goal. Lucky that Howard didn't just fall forward and barrel his way into the end zone. Little man High formation. Run. Two tight ends to the strong side. You might want to watch one of these baby curls of this tight end. I'm not sure if Little Man's got either one of them covered up. And he'll go to the stretch, and Jordan Howard will walk in for the first score of the ball game. Too easy there. And as you see, he was on conservative, wanted to make sure he didn't get hit, didn't drop the football, gets back out of that conservative, goes back onto the balanced. Up and good. A 10 play, 69 yard drive, taking up three minutes and seven seconds. And on that conservative mode he's on there, you notice he's not able to do any kind of spins, trucks, anything like that. Uh, when you're on that mechanism, it makes it to where you hold the ball that much better as a running back, but it takes away your ability to do those special moves. No jukes, no anything like that. Cooper will bring it out to the 23. That's where a little man will go to work. Remember, he's rocking with that. Left-handed quarterback, not Michael Vick, though. Steve Young, yeah. former 49er, played his college ball at BYU. 
West Coast playbook. Steve Young has got the conductor ability. He's got Julio Jones with that deep route specialist. The reason being all the different routes you can get out of the slot when you go to hot route that player makes West Coast that much more dangerous. Some people say it's the best bunch in the game, and when you put something like the deep route cam out there, it makes it even better. Hurst will pick up four yards on first down. That's going to bring up a second and six. Clock already really on the move here. We're already 139 left in the first. Gone, gone. Gone, gone. A huge 10-play drive to open the game for Nene. Looked easy for him. And I think the key for Old Man as he gets sacked there, he's going to have to get a, a, a lot of short action to the middle of the field as both of those yeah, linebackers in the A gap, they're going to be splitting to try to cover those outside routes. Nini's not going to spread out his zone defenders quite as much as Bobcats did. Little Man's not going to have much time in the pocket as well as what Bobcats gave him. And I'm trying to think through the route combos, maybe a wide trail, some Texas in there out of the backfield, really make them start to respect uh, some of the, the guys in the, the tight ends, the guys out of the backfield. I think it's going to help. And here's a big fourth and four. Yeah, you got to force those linebackers to do a little bit more in covers and just sit in yellow zones and be able to hit people. Big fourth down. Already early in this game. It feels big. Since just four. And overthrows. And Nini will take over at the 29-yard line. Julio got his knees taken out there as soon as he touched the ball, not able to pull that thing in. Great hit by the secondary there. And Nini's got a chance to go up two possessions already in field goal range. Russell Wilson back up under center. Seven-step drop. Got RB coming across, but throws it to the other side of the field and should have been picked off. A little man can't believe it. That hurts. Four drops there. The tip, and that's when you start to think maybe you put just one tip drill chemistry out there so you can grab something like that. Give yourself a little bit of a better chance. That's why when you're in salary cap, you've got to make the best decisions possible or else you'll see things like that and get just as frustrated as the man from Tom's River just did. And there is Julio Jones, touchdown Nene! And that right there is because little man has sat in that seat so many times before. You saw how upset he was. You saw his reaction after that, after that drop. And he, you just can't let it go back to you that next play. You've got to just play the next down. And instead, he got in his own head, tried to make a hit stick with the safety there, which wasn't the correct play, and let Nini score. Down 14 to nothing early. If you're Nini, you're all smiles right now. He, I mean, maybe he's got an internal smile going on right now because he's still, the game face is on. He knows there's a ton of time to go in this game. Very stone-faced right now, but I'm sure if you told him last night that he had a chance to go into the second quarter up 14-0, he would be ecstatic. Little man looking downfield, and he needed a big play and got it. Julio just too much of a man there. Jumps over a defender and grabs that. Bunch to the right. Jerry Rice solo to the left. He'll flip the script. Fournette will move as well. And that's how the first quarter will come to an end. 14 to nothing in favor of Nini. Patented double A gap look still here. Doing a great job of mixing up the pressure, mixing up who is using here. You see. Oh boy, this is going to be picked off. It's going to be Rhodes able to haul it in. Xavier Rhodes. And there's a turnover. And. You know the little man's frustrated because he should have had one on the other end. Same kind of play. Yeah, that hurts there. I guess what they say is true. When it rains, it pours. Little rains lead the floods, and right now it's a great first quarter. The tip pick goes back across the middle, and Nini just does a great click on there, jumps it perfectly. Good stick work. Nini might be one of the most consistent players I've seen in a while on that tier level. I mean, you know, you got your, your top tier guys that don't make a lot of mistakes. And that, I think that's his game. I mean, he very consistent. And when you, when you take care of the ball, good things happen. Definitely one of the most underrated players when it comes to competitive Madden. Uh, he's got $5,500 in career winnings. He's cashed in in every single year of the MCS era, 17, 18, and 19. Uh, he's someone that's consistency has been there more than most. Well, to put that in perspective, he could double his winnings right here with a win.
That's right. It's looking like it's going that way so far. However, this is maybe the biggest play call of the game for him. Fourth and four from his own 31, and it looks like he's going to come out and gun tight. Well, I shouldn't say double because he's already got the two grand for showing up. But he, w he would add... He would add three grand to more of that total, so he would be close to nine grand in career winnings in just this ball game. This is huge. Yeah, and that uh, maybe a one win in the round of 32 there, triple them up. I'd say whoever comes out of this, they're gonna they're gonna get some wins. Great play call there. Watch the crossing route there. Force that defender to isolate and guard just one. Good high pass. Good use of the hold ball mechanism there with RB. Little man looking to score here and turn this back to a one possession. Excuse me, Nini looking to score here and turn this into a three possession game. And there's the heat. And the little man needed that as he brings Jabril Peppers right up the gut. Right off the outside. Nobody touches him. Just smacks him in his face. There was two linebackers coming right in that sort of A and B gap area, and Jabril Peppers came through. He could only block one with the left guard, excuse me, the right guard, as Howard slips through. I think that's a smart play right now. You, that clock running is not a bad thing right now if you're Nini. We're in the second quarter, and the clock is still an outlier for Nini here. Third and 14 at the 48. Two down territory here for Nini. To move Howard over to expect the pressure from the left. And it comes from the right, and it's picked off. It's going to be a pick six for Little Man, and Khalil Mack will take it to the end zone. We got a ball game. You talk about an absolute game changer. You talk about something that turned that man's momentum around, turned his entire attitude around. He was sitting back at that chair. He looked defeated until about 13 seconds ago. It was all Nene here in this first half. I don't know where Little Man's inviting us, but he wants us to come on, man. <laughs> and just another tip. He finally gets his tip back there. Knocked down in the dive, and Khalil gets it. He's got a caravan leading him into the end zone there. That's big. I expect Little Man to send huge pressure here as well. He senses it. So 3.17 to go in the half. It's an entirely new ball game here. Benini up 14 to 7 with the ball. He'll go back to the running game, which is really smart right now. And Howard will pick up a good eight yards. You've got to reestablish your offense here. Keep it on the ground. Uh, you got yourself into trouble there, backing up a little bit too bit there with your Russell Wilson. Indeed, a great play call. Up under center once again. Another seven step drop. He swings it out. Really risky play to pick up three yards. Yeah, if he drops that in the backfield, since that ball went backwards, that's a fumble instead of an incomplete pass. That takes, that takes a little bit of confidence in an offense. Probably thrown it a thousand times, though, in Madden 19. Picks up the first down, and we're a play away from taking this thing to the two-minute warning. Out of everyone in this building, there was probably one person that wasn't worried about that pass, and that was Nene. Well, even just to get back to the line of scrimmage, but he picks up the first down, new set of downs. Huge drive here is Sharp. Picks up the first down and more. Stumbles down to the 35-yard line. It's like Little Man sits six on that one for this first time we've seen all game. He is starting to turn up the blitz pressure here. Little Man, when playing in the bracket, only blitzed 25% of the time. Really played a lot of cover two and cover three shells with different cross man adjustments with those safeties. Uh, but he is on this drive blitzed basically every single play and you see he does it again here. And he had to because the first two drives from Nini were just like they were in practice. Oh, he was absolutely, he had the red jersey on. There was nobody touching him. He was, just, he was making every pass he wanted to. So that should take us to the two minute warning. Ball at the 22-yard line. Little man with two timeouts. Nene with all three. Be a first and ten just outside the red zone. Love to see him sticking with that under center. Too many Madden players will have a play like that. Uh, pick six and get out oh, of there. Baby, oh, that's wow. That's a hit right there. That's two turnovers in a row. Little man's got a chance. He's still got two timeouts. Loses the two-minute warning, of course, but that's a huge hit. That's some vintage John Madden football right there. Gets the old Bobby Boucher animation, just blows him up in the backfield. Page with the recovery, and little man's in business. He could double-dip the chip here. 
But for the half, just off the helmet of Julio. Man, what a hit that was right there. Just perfect. Just gets him right underneath the chin strap. And Jordan Howard coughs it up. And now you got to capitalize. Little man with an overthrow. He's You're not three too mad. of seven with Steve Young. You're not too mad at that overthrow because if he throws that better, that may have been picked, picked off. Yeah, absolutely. He has struggled on offense. The only touchdown he's had was a interception by Khalil Mack on a tip pass. So the offense has done absolutely zero so far for Little Man. You see him fake snap a couple times there, looking to uh, see if Nini was on aggressive or not, see if he can get his team to jump and get himself a free five yards there. Uh, great stand by Nini there. And yeah, he's going to call a timeout here. Bring up a fourth and five. Good tackle. Little Man's got a decision to make here. He's going for it. This is gigantic at this point in the ball game. Has time. Has a man. There's that high pass to Julio, and it's going to go back to Nini. Turnover on downs. Tries to force something to Julio there. I think he had the underneath man, uh, maybe a yard underneath the first down marker, but tons of room that he could have moved after there. Don't love the read. Howard will use, uh, lose a yard there to be second and 11. Little man will use a timeout there with 133 to go. He has one remaining. Little man looking to get the ball back. He's expecting to do the exact same thing that Nini just did. Hold his opponent to three and try to get that ball right back. Coughed it up. Last possession. And that's going to put him out of field goal range. That sack will be a loss of nine. It's third and 20. 18 cap kicker for him. 89 kick power. From 56, you're pushing it. You want to pick up probably four or five here. And Howard will fall to the 36. It'll be interesting from 53. Little man can't stop the clock. So it'll run down another 25 seconds or so. And this looks like a perfect kick. As close to as perfect as you could probably get the 89 kick power. Kicker's probably going to come into handy here. Look to make this a two-possession game. Little man is on that uh, block-eligible player on the far left of your screen there. A little too much power there on the kick meter. And he will get a perfect kick. You saw the, the green illumination at the feet of the kicker. Cannot be blocked, and it's up, and it's good. 53 seconds left. No timeouts for little man. You're going to see him come back out in that West Coast bunch and try to make something happen. Ed Reed on the run back. Just doesn't have the spin move that other returners do to make anyone miss there. He's going to need 75 yards for pay dirt. Well, he still hasn't scored an offensive point yet in this final of the Los Angeles Rams Club Championship. Trying to figure out who's going to represent the Rams next week at the club championship. And we got a little snafu Little snafu here in the game. Uh, I was trying to figure out where we were. I think there was about there was 140, 40, uh, 49, 49, seconds, yeah, 49 seconds to go in the half. So we'll have to reset that up. It is a 10-point ball game, 17 to 7. We're in the final as you take a look at the bracket. These are how these uh, two Titans got to this point here. Nene and Lil Man, both Nene beating Bush. Little man beating Bobcats. That's how they advance to the final. A great job by our admins jumping in there and getting everything ironed back out. We got a 10-point ball game, 50 seconds left to reset it. Little man's out of timeouts, but he does have the ball on his own 27. So trying to score before the half, I think that is, even if you get three here, Big Roshi, this is going to be huge for little man. Super important here. Anything to turn it back into a one-possession game for him here. So 17-7, to seven. as I mentioned, out of timeouts for a little man. Got a long way to go here, but he's got the offense to do it. And good deflection at the line. Great knockdown there. Little man probably thought that his tackle was going to pick him up and get a chance to throw it. As you'll see here, he rolls out, and you think the tackle's going to pick up that block. Just gets behind him, knocks it down. 
Good defense. I don't think he had much open anyway. Maybe the incomplete pass was the best thing that could have happened there. Old oh, man looking to the corner. And it'll just fall to the turf. It was Sean Taylor and Paul Krause on the coverage. And it looked like there, a little man was waiting for Sean Taylor to jump down on that underneath route. He never did. Stayed up top, played the correct route. Great defense by Nene. Bunch to the right. Jerry Rice solo to the left. 35 seconds after the sack right there. Another block shed. He's just sending four. It's just a stunt there, and he's getting through that uh, outside gap just with a simple stunt from his D-line. It's going to bring up a fourth and 19, and Nini called timeout and forced the punt, so he's got an opportunity to maybe score before the half. Dion has a running lane. Did to beat the punter. Can he get a block? He will. Touchdown, Nini. Dion, just like that, Turns it into a 17-point game, and it's starting to get a little wet in here. Little man might need to roll up the sleeves because Nene is not being stopped. Take a look at this in a moment after the kickoff on that big re punt return. Cooper will take it at his own four. And he's got some running room. He's going to get Cooper it right back. At the numbers. This is Bonkers, but can he beat AP? And oh, Peterson can't get there. That was Pat Pete. I guess what's good for the goose is good for the gander, huh? If you're going to give up a punt return, why not get your own kick return? And uh, it's not a 17-point game anymore. It's back to the 10-point game. That was great Madden right there. Very rarely do you see a punt return for a touchdown, let alone follow that up with a kick return for a touchdown. Yeah, back to back. It was Dion the first time, and then Amari Cooper. And I thought he was going to try to get that same lane and uh, spin back across the game. Man, that was big for little man there. Talk about getting yourself right back into the game. Couldn't have back to back to back, though. The kickoff return was taken out to the 27 yard line. So, final play of the half. Some fireworks there in the last minute. No harm, no foul. Still a 10-point ball game. Nene looking downfield. We'll try to get a Tyreek Hill. Can't make a man miss, and that's how the half will come to an end. But how about that last minute, Grouchy? Couldn't have had a more exciting end to the half there. Just great stick work by both guys. And you see there, just wide open. Way to make, some, just make the tackle. Just rally him in. Don't give up any points there. And Little Man kicks the ball out of bounds there. So Nini's going to have a chance to start with great field possession. Only going to need 60 yards to be able to get this. Ah, but it looks like with the reset there. Yeah, we had a reset, if you guys are wondering what's going on right now. So uh, to make it fair of who had the ball. And right there at the 25-yard line, doesn't get much more fair than that. So uh, they're going to flip the script. Remember, we had a little snafu there in the first half. And it's Little Man's ball to start the half. So that's where you see uh, the punt back. These guys have done that a thousand times. They're good to go. Here we go. Little Man, first and 10. And he throws a pick to Pat Pete. And he's going to take it to the crib. One man to beat. Can he get past the quarterback? And, and gets gobbled up there at the 15. Just a great lurk, just a great click on. He was open. He threw it maybe just a tad late, gave Pete a chance to jump up to it. You throw that a little bit earlier, and Peterson doesn't have a chance to take advantage of that excel that he's got on there. Instead, it's an interception. Boy, you can see the little man just disgusted by the way these couple of these possessions have gone. He's not looked good on offense here in the final. On the other side, Nene has looked absolutely fantastic. And he'll go to the air again. Swings it outside to Howard, makes one miss. He gets to the 16-yard line. Going to be a third and 11. Second time this game, he's thrown that little swing right out of the backfield. And second time, he picks up a couple of inches. Uh, this time, he gets it back to the line of scrimmage. The first time, he picked up a first down on about second and one. Uh, it's been open. It just hasn't gotten much after the catch. Boy, touchdown here would be huge. It's a big third down here for a little man in his defense. 3-3-5 three, three, odd. But he's already turning that clock. Howard can't get to the outside, and it, he's going to have to put his kicker on the field and take the three. 
Great stand for Little Man there. Nini's going to look to go up 13. It's going to make those extra points if Little Man has a chance to kick him. That much more scary. He's going to hold it a little bit here. Takes a little clock with you. Also makes Little Man uh, think about when he's going to try to block that kick. I don't know why more competitors don't do this because even that, even that seven seconds that you could have had, I mean, you get to the end of the game and you're like, man, there was one play in the game where I could have ran this clock out. You start adding up everything that you left on the clock at that point. And buckle up, folks. We got another deep kick, but it's going to be taken on a sky. And so that'll be down at the 29-yard line. Seen some returns in this game, so I think a little more strategy on some of these kicks. Yeah, speaking of strategy, I like what Little Man does there. A lot of hit power on the field, even in his special teams, because he's got backups at his depth charts. Uh, most of his starters are at backup roles, so Nini's got his big hitters in on special teams as well. Little Man didn't want to take a hit on the kick return there. Second and 20 after the loss of 10. Any of those stats that you see drop it down on the banner, remember we did have a reset, so all those stats are pretty much null and void. And Young will get a little bit of that back. So here comes a third and seven, very manageable. And it's two down territory the rest of the way for a little man. Good auto rocket on that last possession. Probably the best rocket catch animation you can get in this game. And he'll throw it to the outside. Can he get the feet and bounce? He will. Holds that A button, gets his possession catch. Still down 13, but you notice a little, a little bit more pep of a step in Little Man's game here. Ran and hurry up a couple times, getting to the line a little quicker, not making as many hot routes, quick snapping a little bit more. And once again goes to the outside, but Peterson couldn't make an angle on it, and now he's completed it down to the 23-yard line, just outside the red zone. And with that throw, you notice the difference of Little Man throwing it on time and having a 20-yard completion to where last time he threw it just a half second too late, and Pat Pete was able to make a play on it. Hurst will get to the 16-yard line. That'll bring up a second and three. 217 to go in the quarter, and I think not only being down two scores has put a sense of urgency uh, in Little Man's step here, but I think also he knows on the other side that Nini is really working that clock when he has possession. So... Probably in his mind, he knows, hey, I might only get this thing two more times the rest of the way. Definitely. And Nini is out there with his full lockdown. He's got three plus three man coverage, plus three zone coverage. He also gets a boost to his catch. That's the reason you've seen so many great animations from his players. He's also got a sprinter going on out there, so he's got plus two speed on most of his team. First and goal from the nine. Needs two touchdowns here to get back in it. High pass and knocked away. I think that was Kraus that ended up knocking it away, but Shazier was also there on the hit. Yeah, just that last second smack there by Paul Kraus is exactly what brought it out. As you see, Shazier hits him high. Somebody else gets him low. The ball comes out, second and goal. Clock stops with 150 to go in the quarter. And a 27-14 game. Little man in all white with the ball, and that will be a touchdown for Julio. Same double coverage, same route, same play, slightly different result. This might get blocked, and it will. This is going to be two points the other way. And somehow Steve Young kept two points off the board, and that was huge because that would have been a nine-point ball game. Nothing feels worse than being down nine points in a game of John Madden. Little man with a huge catch from behind. Uh, the, the placeholder there, Steve Young, gets off one knee and gets back there and saves himself two points. Yeah, a little stumble there on the recovery, and that allowed Steve Young to get a shoelace, and that saved two very valuable points. So we got a, we got a touchdown game here with 144 to go in the third. Not the most conventional way, uh, but there is Tyreek Hill. He'll get it plus territory at the 31. Just like that one play in its field goal range for Nini. That's a high-powered offense. Well, this Russell Wilson is accurate. Gives you just enough speed to be mobile in the pocket where you got to respect it. There's that, little, there's that little swing. Three for three on the swing route there. Uh, Nini also said he feels much more comfortable with the right-handed quarterback, another one of the reasons he went with Russell. Um, 
some people aren't as comfortable with a left-handed quarterback. Maybe you naturally like to roll out to the right, uh, which is something you just can't do if you've got a left-handed quarterback. I'm not hating field. that double China play, too, because it clears everyone out. And then you just swing it out of the backfield, and you got Howard with a chance to go one-on-one. -on -one. You might not want to jump online now. You just gave that play <laughs> away to everyone. <laughs> Sorry about that. You might see it. And it's going to be a post route for the touchdown. Amari Cooper. Just a beautiful skinny post there. It gives him just enough angle, just enough room to get inside of the cornerback there. Great pass. And it's a 14-point lead again at the Coliseum for Nene on that pass right there. Just clicks in, steers that receiver in real quick just to cut that route off, get the perfect position, get inside of the corner. Touchdown. Another sky kick. A little man this time will get a bit more yardage out to the 36. Now it's a full two-possession game. That extra point even bigger for Nini now because it makes it 14, and we know he can block extra points. So he's going to have potentially a couple more chances to do so if little man's going to make this a game. Here is little man running away from the pressure, and we'll just throw it out of bounds. 34 to 20. Remember, Nene was a runner up last year at Madden 18 for the Rams. This year he's trying to finish the job. Pressure off the left, picked up well by Fournette in the backfield. And Amari Cooper with an easy catch and run to the 45. You see exactly that pressure came to the left. Fournette doesn't even budge, doesn't get pushed off, doesn't move. Great pick up there by the young man out of LSU. And Steve Young's going to get sacked by Khalil Mack. Could be the last play of the third here. Some people will always want to score before the end of the third quarter. Looks like that's the feeling little man has here. Watch out for something up top to Julio here. Young. The line holds this time, but Julio almost made the circus catch. Krausen on the play again. That's two he's broken up. So third and 18. Two seconds to go in the third. Down 14 is Lil' Man. Bunch to the opposite side here. Let's see if he goes back to that same play call, but has it flipped. Young looking, throwing into coverage, picked off by Sean Taylor. And Get on your feet, young man. And he's going to be tackled at the 18. That is not the read at all when you are down two possessions. You cannot force things like that. Huge turnover for Nini, and it's getting that much closer to him finally claiming this Los Angeles Rams club championship. I'll hand it off to Howard. Told you, very balanced offense from Nene. But his user by Sean Taylor has been fantastic. And just an incredible pick there. That's a user interception. Does a great job of clicking on. Times the jump perfectly. No ball hawk needed. Boy, even a field goal here. You know you want to work the clock, but three on this drive would probably do it. You figure he's up 14, and he's only given up 13 offensive points. He's in pretty good position here. Yeah, he had the, gave up the pick six on the hit. And the interception by Khalil Mack that took it to the house. Third and inches works out much better than picking up the first down here. If you're in Nini's shoes, you'd rather have the 30 seconds and the two chances of picking up the first down. Excellent point, partner. Coming up on 4-10 to go in the ball game. That's how far Nini is from making a trip to San Francisco and representing the Los Angeles Rams in the club championship next week. It all gets started on January 30th, right there from EA headquarters in Redwood City. And how about that going airborne for the first down? 10 hats on 10 hats. Little man literally had 10 people in the box there, and it didn't scare Nene at all. He just sky jumped over the top of them. Get your Peyton Hillis on, young man. I have some Peyton Hill stories. Yeah? One of the greatest cover athletes in Madden history, He, he right? was in college around the same time I was in college. And uh, my best friend's sister dated him, so pretty nice guy. Not, 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 the, same, uh, not the same in the pros. <laughs> it didn't necessarily. A little bit different. I don't even know how he got on the cover. I mean, I know how he got on the cover, but Reddit's come on, a wonderful come on thing. now. 
Reddit is a wonderful <laughs> thing for players like that. Uh, but didn't, didn't anticipate to get a six degrees of separation with Peyton Hillis and Scott Cole. The more you know, I guess. Hey, my best friend's sister was really, really cute. That's all I can say. Second and 13. You didn't say your sister, right? No, okay. I said my best friend's sister. He, lo, lo, levels are a little low. To left <laughs> sorry, I apologize. sorry about that. Howard. My sister's too smart to date Peyton Hillis, I can tell you that. <laughs> Third and nine. Should only see one more play before the two-minute warning here. Nini has got his foot. He's in cruise control now. He's got both feet where he wants them. He's going to plant them on the ground, run this ball right up the middle again, if I'm not mistaken. No reason to pass the ball here. He's going to the air. He's going to try to finish it right here. And Julio Jones might go to the cribbo. Or just score seven, go up three possessions, do what you got to do. You're the man that represents the, represents the Los Angeles Rams. Every year he has come out here, he has gotten one step closer. Madden 17, lost in the semifinals. Madden 18, lost in the finals of this event. And now looking to make his way to the, to the championship after that pass to Julio Jones. Gets straight through double coverage. No one's going to touch him. Goes up three scores there. It's looking a little bleak for little man. Yeah, you give up 41 points. You only scored 13 offensive points. Uh, he, right now, he's the mayor of Struggleville, and I think he's due for re-election. And that'll be knocked away by Pat Pete on the back end of that defense. Great swat there. Doesn't get too, too you know, greedy. Doesn't try to pick that off. I like it. Whoever faces these Los Angeles Rams in the club championship next week, you better be working. Oh, what a one-handed grab downfield. Just to the took 29. It from Just took it away from him. Dion had an animation. Julio said, I like mine a little bit better. But you better start labbing against the double A gap here in this nickel formation because it's a problem. And I, I think what, if I saw anything, I, I think you can run right behind that right guard, right at Sean Taylor, his user. That's probably the weakest part in the defense. Yeah, little man just didn't seem to have the patience this game That's a to beat that defense. Back to a two-possession game here. Still has three timeouts, if I'm not mistaken. I don't get, I don't get hype for, for a touchdown when you're down 20. But you're right, 41-27. He does have three timeouts here, so, I'll, uh, well, he's, he's thinking I probably won't get the ball back here. So he's going to do an onside kick here. Your percentage of recovering this is about 3%. Most people here will try to get the ball to bounce off of one of the defenders, not able to do so for a little man there. And so first and 10 for Nini at the 44. Hey, you get 10 yards here. I probably wouldn't even kick the three. I mean, too many things could happen at this point. I, if anything, I run it three times and maybe punt it. Yeah, or maybe even just be OK with the turnover on downs. Maybe just run it the four times and be okay with the turnover downs. If you, punt it, it, if you punt it, I think you can, you may be even, be, maybe it's a mute point at this point, because I think he's going to pick up the first down here in third and two. Yeah, the only reason I say I don't think he was going to um, punt the ball there, just because we saw the two different kick returns in this game, maybe no, I'm stays you in the back I'd say you punt it out of the back of the end zone. No, don't give him a I'm chance saying. to touch it, yeah. I sky punt it. Give me about a another six, seven seconds off the clock that you wouldn't get with a run. It's going to be 52 yards from here. Again, 80, uh, see, 89 kick power for this Greg Z. Greg the leg. Well, he's not even going to try to block it. It's up and it's good, and that makes it a three score. And that, that look says it all. That kick would have been good from a lot further than that there without even close to full power. That Greg Zerline's a good <laughs> card for a kicker. It's OP. That's a little, you're going to spin a little cap. Getting that leg power. Just eight more. I've seen, we've seen players this tournament that have had backup quarterbacks that are costing them seven and eight and nine cap because they're using them simply for chemistries. So that you, you think maybe you make a decision instead and use the eight cap on the kicker and you don't have to go, gain as many yards to get into field goal range there. 44 to 27. Can Paul Krauss get there? No, it's a bomb all the way down to the 17 yard line. Little man is never one to give up. You're not going to see him get out of his offense. He is going to play this until there are triple zeros. Go on, go on. Go 
Down by 17. He would need everything to go right, and there's another touchdown. We're seeing some points. There's no doubt about that. Just a little late from him here. Well, the first quarter almost sealed his fate. Got down 14, threw a couple INTs. And here's the onside kick again. See if he kicks it right at Cooper. And Amari will get the recovery once again. And that should do it. It looks as if he's maybe even clicking onto that Cooper and making a dive himself to be able to pick that up. I think that's really good because a lot of players uh, won't do that. They will rely on the uh, AI to get those for them because they're worried that they're going to knock the ball off their hands or tip the ball directly to the other team. So we'll have three kneels here, and we'll have a new champ of the Los Angeles Rams. It's going to be Nini. He's going to be the one representing them out in San Francisco. It'll be January 30th. That's where everything gets going. They'll have to go through divisional play. Um, they kind of move through the NFC to have their chance to maybe make it to the final step. We saw Goes do it last year in Minnesota. This year will be in San Francisco out at EA headquarters for the first time ever. It's going to be an absolute blast to be there in Redwood City. Nothing but Madden all week. That's right. Not only is Nini proud of himself here to win this club championship, his entire friends and family back in Los Angeles, California. Uh, he's wanted to give a shout out to his crew, Fight Club Gaming. And also, this is why I respect this man more than anyone else. He said he needed a specific shout out to his barber in L.A., California, because <laughs> he said, if you look good, you feel good, you play good. And he just played his way into the L.A. Rams club championship. Hey, man, if you if you got the lettuce, you got somebody that can cut it. More power to you. I got two looks. I got the the one guard and the <laughs> and the bald. That's 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 all my barber can do for me. He's like, do you want it all the way off, or do you want it at a one? And that'll do it. There's your champ right there. Nene is your Madden 19 Rams club champion. Congratulations, Nini. Let me first present you with the autographed Los Angeles Rams helmet by none other than Sean McVay. Now, you got to the final four in 17. You got to the finals in 18. Now here in 19, you finally got over the horse. You're making it. You're going to represent the Rams in the Madden Club Championship. How does that feel? It feels good, man. I told myself that I had unfinished business because I was so close last year. So I'm like, I just need to stick with this club, and I wanted to become this champ. And I fought and made it happen. Now, there was a lot of talk about how many games you and the little man have played before. Do you think that familiarity helped you out in this? Definitely, yeah. Um, I knew he ran a bunch, and I know that's like a popular formation. But like versus him, like I know pretty much most of the, the scheme that he likes to do. Defensively, it was something new, but I adjusted, and we got it done. All right, now you're taking that next step. You're going to be in San Francisco next week playing for everything. How are you going to prepare for that? Um, I got a couple guys in my um, group me group, so I'm going to try to get with them. And I know they know a lot of dudes in the community, so try to get them to lab with me, and we're going to get it together. We're going to be in San Francisco for quite some time. What are you going to do about your haircut while you're out there? Um, I'm probably going to get a, a lineup just to get it, keep it straight. But uh, I should be all right. I appreciate them, though. All right, there you have it. We're here with Nini, our Los Angeles Rams club champion. He's heading to San Francisco. We're going to be there, but right now we're going back to Scott and Grocery. All right.